It's a gear tester here, and today I'm talking about the poor man suppressor. This is not actually going to be a video on a suppressor because uh, if you're going to get a suppressor, you're going to have to do that legally, and that's very expensive. But this is a way for you to shoot 22 ammo that is basically quieter uh, in many cases than some suppressors might be. And that is this ammo right here. This is 22 ammo. You can see this. I'm not sure exactly how to say this. I'm going to call it Ag Aguila, okay, is the name of the, the ammunition manufacturer. And this is the 22 Colibri is what I'm going to call it. You see it there. You can Google search it, and you, you, you'll have the correct spelling, even if I'm pronouncing it horribly. The important thing is that you're getting the 20 grain ammo, okay, and that this is a primer only. All right, this does not have any powder in it, which means it's going to be very quiet. My understanding is this is really supposed to be used in revolvers or pistols uh, that have a shorter barrel and they're, they're lower sound signature, so it's going to be quieter out of a pistol. It won't be as quiet out of a rifle. It'll be quieter out of a rifle, all right, because of the longer barrel. And the way this works is you're using the powder up as the bullet is coming out of the gun. You're doing this uh, at your own risk uh, of possibly damaging your firearm or getting one of these bullets jammed up in the gun, okay, uh, because uh, it doesn't have full power. What you don't want to get is this ammo right here, which is this 60 grain by the same company, 60 grain uh, ammo. You don't want to get this. This is full power. This will cycle in action on, on your semi-automatic firearm, and it's going to be loud. What you want is this 20 grain, okay, has that little hummingbird on it. That's what you're going to want. And if you're going to be shooting out of uh, just a gun, you can load them in one round at a time and it will be quiet. But I have here a Volt Kortstein uh, magazine here, 22 short magazine, which we've modified to be able to shoot these uh, quiet, quiet rounds. And there they are. You can see them. They're kind of short and they just have that 20 grain round in it with just the primer. All right. And this allows you to shoot quietly. Uh, on your property or in a situation where you don't want to be very loud, maybe you're doing pest control. And that's, that's what I use this ammo for. Also, it's just fun to come out to the range and be as quiet as possible. So if you're wanting to shoot a 1022, we modified this, and I'll show you that at this point. We'll show you a little, mag a little uh, short clip of how we uh, modified this 1022 short magazine by Volkortstein. Okay, so here is the internal portions of this uh, Volkortstein Custom 1022 short, okay, magazine. So that's for shooting 22 short ammo. And they actually have a kit Volkortstein does that allows you to shoot um, short ammo, 22 long rifle short ammo, and you can uh, semi-automatically you can adjust the firearm. Um, as you've seen previously, you're going to have to. A flick you're gonna have to manually every time you want to fire and empty around you're gonna have to work your action on the 1022 but here is the part that is different that Volkortstein does it's the same exact it's just a 1022 10 round box magazine just like this one here but what they've done is they've taken the feed lips out and they have attached a little portion here and they have uh, like epoxied in or glued in or welded in a little piece of brass I don't think you could weld in you can see some glue sticking out here and this was actually for a short, for shooting 22 shorts, but we took a chainsaw file and we modified it so that it would fit these little um, 22 long rifle ammo here that are kind of the same dimension, a little bit longer than the short ammo, 20 grain uh, Aguila, Aguila ammo here that allows you to shoot very, very quietly. So that's the modification that Volkortstein does to the 1022 short magazine that allows you to have a magazine full of this excellent little quiet ammo. All right, so you saw how we modified this little magazine. We just spray painted it black to tell it apart from the standard 1022 magazines that we have. There's that little brass portion that uh, Volkortstein uh, puts in the magazine. Otherwise, it's just a standard 1022 magazine, 10 round little box magazine. Uh, in this case, we've had it run very well. Today, it hasn't ran very well. So we've actually clipped a little bit of the end off of this ammo to make it run easier in the gun. Uh, we've shot a number of rounds through this on seven or eight different occasions over 
about eight months and haven't had any problems, but today we're having a little bit of problems today. So we'll see if we can get this gun to run it appropriately. We're gonna put it in. I'm gonna put one round of standard ammo in first, and then we're going to shoot a couple rounds of this uh, quiet ammo. Okay, the first round we're gonna be shooting here is just standard CCI mini mag ammo, uh, 30 grain, I think. And then from, from then on, it's gonna be the, uh, what I'm gonna call Aguila quiet bullets, all right? So this is standard 22 long rifle. There you go. So you can see there uh, that the, those rounds are much, much quieter. And that's why I call it the poor man suppressor because you're basically getting suppressor quality sound out of a standard uh, 22 rifle. I'm gonna now uh, switch over, we'll lock this back, and I'm gonna switch over to a little bolt action rifle here. And uh, if you don't wanna spend the money and you already have a tube fed gun like this, you can just load these rounds, okay, this ammo, right into your tube fed magazine if you're not using a 1022. And I think the 1022 is probably the most popular semi-automatic 22 rifle in the United States. But if you have one of these rifles that has a standard uh, tube-fed magazine, you can just load those up correctly. And we've already got one in here. And we're going to do a little bit of shooting now with it. And we got a few rounds here. I'm going to shoot that paper. Now your point of impact is going to be different, okay, as you shoot this ammo. And it's not going to be super powerful, so just be aware of that. Um, you can see there, I think some of these may even be bouncing off that plywood. I'm not sure. There you go. Hit it. But it is very quiet, especially out of this bolt action guns. Um, I think we got one more there. Nope. We're out. So there you go. That's uh, my... A poor man's version of a suppressor. It's totally legal as far as I know, as long as the lead ammo is uh, legal where you're shooting. Just a little word of warning, if you try and use a standard 1022 magazine and you load more than one round of the Aguila um, ammo into it, okay, uh, it's going to jam the magazine completely up. And that's why I went and got one of these Volkortstein Custom 1022 short magazines and modified it the way I did so that I could fire multiple times and then, as you saw, eject the rounds manually. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I really enjoy shooting these rounds. You could shoot these even without hearing protection in many situations. Thanks so much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester, signing off.